able to move this small miners to to the community mining program. These are people who do not have money to rent excavators or buy them or buy concessions. Now, this concept of community mining is that the government will uh, give you a place to mine and then the people in the community will be put together and supervise and also help in terms of safety and security. And then uh, you earn your money uh, and it's good for them because it's so organized in such a way that um, alcohol is not sold at the side. We don't allow uh, drugs and, and even misuse of drugs such as tramor, prostitution and things like that. So it is something that is good for the miners themselves, the community that they operate. And so far we've got more than 25, 30,000 people into the community planning concept. So this is, has never happened before. And even this concept is being copied in some African countries. So the point is that the fight against illegality is being won as it were, but we still have challenges. And that's the way we are. And why do we have challenges? See, we are not dealing with people who obey laws. See, the government was aware that some people didn't even know how to mine sustainably. So if you spend the first year or so training people, 4,000, 5,000 people in Takwa on sustainable mining, hoping that uh, they will do the right thing. But some of them have been trained, but they still do the wrong thing. So, um, yes, uh, illegal mining is going on, but we need to define what illegality, illegality is. We know that there are, we vetted 1,350 miners two years ago, and at least 660, 462 of them are working in the field normally. They have their certificates, Some of, most of them are doing the right thing, and therefore if we see somebody mining somewhere, we don't have to jump to the conclusion that it is illegal mining. There are hundreds of people in Ghana who are doing good, legal, sustainable mining. But there are a few ones who are, there are few who are doing the wrong thing. And these are the ones that we are going after. And so, um, but there's also <coughs> a new phenomenon where the miners use uh, metal detectors. You know, these are mobile things. They are very mobile. They don't use heavy machines. They come with the metal detectors, and when they detect superficial nuggets, then they dig with their pickaxes and shovels, wash, and then quickly move on. And sometimes they come in big numbers. And, and, and the thing is that, in some cases, the farm owners are complicit of these activities they, because they share the process with them. Uh, I'm not saying all of them, yeah. but they are illegal ones, some of them. And so if a, a farm owner is doing that, you know, we will find it difficult even to detect at the right time. So um, there are a lot of patterns going on. And this is because if the president says, I'm putting my president on now to stop this, I think that it's a very powerful statement that Ghanaians should respect and obey. But here we are, we are people that do, tend to do the wrong thing all the time um, because punishment or sanctions are that not severe enough or they, they, they take too long to, to be materialized. That is why you find people jumping red lights with impunity, burden of waterways with impunity, uh, burden where there are supposed to be schools, parks, and so on. And uh, the ills that we see in our society, some people prepare Kobe with uh, formalin and, and so on. Even a uh, uh, um, prom wine with uh, DDT. See, so we tend to do the wrong, the right, the wrong thing, knowing that you can get away with it. And so someone may speak against can I'm saying, but that same person will be doing something very wrong. And so let us all know that uh, and we have precious things we have to protect. And personally, I believe that the thing that made the street street possible is those streets are still with us mm. because we don't tend to know what is precious to us. You know, we we help. In the, in, in the slave trade, you know, exchange human beings for gunpowder, for sugar, for mirror, and, and, and things like that. And so, and now we are exchanging money for resources such as forest, um, water, the soil, even the air we breathe in. 
and, and even the very destruction of our biodiversity. So it's, it's ongoing. And though we have made certain strides, we still need to find a way of clamping down on these people because the media is highlighting on them. And obviously, it is going to turn around to bite us one day. It will tell the story that we've not done enough with the war against illegal mining. What is your outfit doing to come down on these few bad nuts trying to tarnish the human image of? Yeah, we'll still continue our education. We'll still have uh, a tax force on the ground. And we still have people um, who are informing us. We have uh, drones that give us uh, important information, except in a few cases where they hide um, in the forest and you know, we have the forest cover. We are not able to get good footage from, from the drones. Uh, but so we are continuing, and as they change their tactics, we also change. And you see, this is costing us a lot of money. The, what I want to say is that Kenyans should appreciate the so called environmental groups. Nobody talks about them, you know. It should not be the fight for from Paul Biden alone or even the president or the uh, committee. Uh, it should be a fight that but people sit down and just criticize. Mm. Talk anyhow. Mm. And insult and don't even credit us with any, any intelligence, you know, and integrity. And that I find uh, repulsive. So we need the cooperation of Ghanaians. Uh, I mean, how can a group of people, young people, enter a farmland in a town, a village. And the, the town folks are there, they do nothing, they just look at them and they expect Operation Vanguard to suddenly appear in that village to arrest people. You know. Uh, so it's not going to be an it's not an easy fight, but what fight in Ghana has been easy? I understood, but then looking at them magnitude of, I mean, or looking at the weight attached to the fight against the young. The president has, the president has put his job on the line. This committee was formed, you were made chairman, Operation Vanguard came in, Gallum Stop, and all other technologies that needed to fight this one. And then recently, the community mining. What is the impact of the, I know all these things have been impactful on the fight against the young. There are still some people there. There are big politicians out there trying to pour the effort of the president. How are you dealing with this situation? Yes. I, I know in the course of they entering the forest or they trying to do prospecting, some of these documents run by you or I mean, go through these documents. I'm not a regulatory agency. You know, we have agencies that regulate money in this country, Minas Commission. EPA, uh, Forestry Commission, and the Water Resources Commission, and especially the Minerals Commission, they have to make sure that uh, people don't get permit to enter forest reserves and and do anything. You know, forest reserves are supposed to be forest reserves, and you know, so um, if people enter forest reserves legally, then it becomes uh, difficult. For us to, we used to be chasing them all the time, you know, after people who are doing the wrong thing. What, what do you think is making this whole illegal mining conversation or illegal mining coming I mean, to the, the resurgence? What do you think is. It's not the resurgence, but you see, there are people who want to talk about illegal mining now creating the impression that there's something wrong and that we are doing the wrong thing and therefore uh, the, the committee should be disbanded, Bangladesh should be withdrawn. And when that is done, then it will be much worse than we are, we are seeing it now. And so, and there are also people who were part of the fight against the thing, did wrong things and they are out and they want to create the impression that because they are not there, things are not working and want to create that bad impression, you know. So there are all sorts of um, selfish uh, motives behind some of these things. But I can tell you that um, I am I mean to help this. I love this country. You know, whatever I do is for this country. And, and I like the president, uh, his dedication and his drive. Otherwise, 
why should I sit here and you know endure all the insults from people who are doing doing the wrong thing? When the Christian boundary came, one of the things that the IMCI said they were going to integrate into the boundary is a marine, so that we're going to buy speedboats. Because right now, the most difficult thing is to get the illegal miners along the river bodies. Last week, I went to Tapade, the Pra and the Aquabra is still brown. So, what is the weight you are putting on the fight in terms of? Fighting the illegal miners along the water bodies. Well, see, when you go, you you go on the rivers. We actually we've got uh, speedboats for Pra and Ancobra. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we bought several canoes with outboard motors. But the illegality three years ago, they were dredging on the water bodies the, the Pra and Ancobra themselves. But they've stopped. Now they are in the tributaries in the forest. And so, and when you muddy the waters in the tributaries, of course, it will, it will come down. And that's where the damage is taking place. And as I said earlier on, uh, in the thick forest cover, you find it difficult even to get good drone pictures. And so, we depend upon informants and the people who live in the community who give us information, and then we'll go in there and uh, do the arrest. But now, there are two operations going on uh, in the eastern part, eastern region, and also in the Shanti region, um, on some of the water bodies there. And also, the people who think that it is an election year, and therefore, you know, uh, the government is going to relax and allow things to go on uh, unchecked and so on. Especially um, party people who, who think that, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, because the NDC. Uh, dead buttons, they could do whatever they like with impunity. We should also allow them to, you know, to do uh, illegal things. Uh, but that is something that the president will not allow. We are not saying that don't mind. Get your analysis, mind sustainably, get your money, but don't do illegal things. Don't pollute the water bodies. Don't destroy the forest. And don't destroy farmlands. And don't destroy the soil also.